The deadliest volcanoes on Earth that could spark a major disaster have now been revealed. Over the past months, populations around the globe have been hit with fear after devastating seismic activity across the globe. Southeast Asia rocked by earthquakes before they traveled east with increasing intensity, major tremors hitting Japan, severe in Ecuador, earthquakes that are not the only thing that we should be worried about as a result of seismic activity, the shifting of tectonic plates well beneath the surface can loosen lava and build pressure underground and thus leaving only one route for the lava to escape, that is through volcano, volcanic eruptions. And here are five volcanoes that could burst into life soon. Yellowstone, the volcano in Wyoming, it's a supervolcano as we know. While the Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming is beautiful with brightly colored sulfuric hot springs, erupting geysers, it packs a mighty punch. The Yellowstone Caldera supervolcano last erupted 70,000 years ago, but a recent unexpected spike in seismic activity on the globe has unsettled nerves. Now, if the volcano were to erupt, it could cause global catastrophe, particularly in the United States, where it would instantly, in the, the inner zone, do away the 87,000 people and make two-thirds of the country immediately uninhabitable as a large spew of ash cloud into the atmosphere would block out sunlight and directly affect life beneath it. The massive eruption would be a staggering 2,000 times as powerful as the one we had from Washington State's Mount St. Helen in 1980 that deposited ash in 11 different states and five Canadian provinces. Then we have Mount Pike 2 in North Korea. Mount Pike 2 once underwent one of the most devastating eruptions in history in 946 AD when it erupted so powerfully that it formed a five kilometer caldera at its summit and produced enough ash that it even showered Japan almost 1,100 kilometers away. And once again, this volcano, which straddles the borders of North Korea and China, has shown signs that it's active again. And scientists have issued stark warnings saying it needs to be monitored as a matter of urgency, claiming the threat is very real, quote unquote. Such has been the fear around Mount Peg 2 of North Korea. It's been sparked as a rare collaboration with North Korea and the West with the largely secretive nation inviting scientists from the UK and US to help study this. Six seismic stations that measured energy for nearby earthquakes to see how it affected Mount Pike 2. They found an explosion there could rate at a 7 on the volcanic explosivity index, as a study published in Science Advances said. Anything above 8 on this scale could cause worldwide uh, devastation. Stephen Grant, a seismologist at the University of Texas at Austin said, I think the risk of a destructive eruption here is very real. Then we have Mauna Loa. While Hawaii is another seismic location, it's also home to the world's biggest volcanoes. Mauna Loa, located on the island of Hawaii, has not erupted since 1984, and is long overdue an eruption, eruption having blown 10 times in the 20th century before this. The U.S. National Park Service said of the mass volcano, when Mauna Loa erupts, voluminous, fast-moving lava flows can reach the ocean in only a few hours, severing roads and utilities and repaving the volcano's flanks along the way. Since 1843, Mauna Loa has erupted 33 times, most recently in 1984, when lava flows reached to within four miles of Hilo. We saw the uh, very fast moving lava flows from the, the uh, 2018 eruption of Kilauea. They were going around 16 to 18 miles an hour, some of those flows. They looked like hot rivers of water, but it was lava, of course. Then the next volcano is the Mexican volcano, Mount Popocatat. Catepetl, which uh, is called El Popo or Mount Popo, and is uh, showing signs of activity lately. 
Mount Popo of Mexico is situated only 70 kilometers uh, and has shown recent signs of activity like the uh, videos show. Last time El Popo, as it's locally called, went through a major eruption was in the year 2000 and it had not been for some uh, pre preventive uh, evacuations. Up to 41,000 people could have, been, uh, could have lost their lives there, but they were evacuated, thank goodness. It's been recently simmering to life, eruptions ejecting such a sheer volume of ash that it showered down to the nearest town of Puebla, causing the airport to shut down. Officials have urged nearby residents to wear face masks. The ash cloud could be seen from Mexico City. And then you have Mount Vesuvius of Italy, one of the most famous volcanoes having caused one of the most deadly eruptions in human history in Pompeii. Mount Vesuvius is located in Campania and it last erupted in 1944 and usually has an eruption cycle of every 20 years, meaning that it has been building up for almost four times that amount. It's the most densely populated volcanic region in the world with three million people living in the nearby city of Naples but it's perhaps most famous for its massive eruption of 79 AD when it spewed lava so violently and at such a quick speed that it completely consumed the local cities of Heraclinium and Pompeii, preserving the latter so perfectly that scientists have been able to recreate the residents' last moments. This is on Bended Reality from Express UK. And according to USGS, what was the largest volcanic eruption in the 20th century? The world's largest eruption of the 20th century occurred in 1912 at Nova Rupta in the Alaska Peninsula. An estimated 15 cubic kilometers of magma was explosively erupted during 60 hours beginning June 6th. And this volume is equivalent to 230 years of eruption at Kilauea's Hawaii, or about 30 times the volume erupted by Mount St. Helens in Washington. And where is the largest active volcano in the world? Rising gradually to more than four kilometers above sea level, it's Hawaii's Mauna Loa. It's the largest volcano on our planet. Its submarine flanks descend to the seafloor an additional three miles, five kilometers, and the seafloor in turn is depressed so much by Mauna Loa's great mass another five kilometers, five miles or eight kilometers. This makes the volcano, the volcano summit about 17 kilometers above its base. That's 10 and a half miles. And then the most destructive volcano, volcanic eruption in the history of the United States, May 18, 1980. The eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington state was the most destructive in the history of the United States. Nova Rupta Kamtai Katmai Volcano Alaska erupted consistently more than material in 1912, but owing to the isolation and sparse population of the region, there were no human deaths and little property damage in contrast to this of Mount St. Helens. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.